Have you ever been in a situation where you didn't have the proper tools to get the work done? Well, I'm going to tell you what it feels like. So here we go. I'm Tom Govichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And as you can see behind me, there is no model railroad. And if you take a closer look, this is the room where everything happened. I'm sitting in the same place that I normally sat when I did live streams and did videos where you seen everything back behind me. But that is no longer here. So I'm going to tell you what it's like to go for weeks at a time without the proper tools to build a model railroad. I've talked about what tools you need for model railroading in a few videos, and I've even done it on my live streams, but I never did consider one important tool, and that is the desire to build a model railroad. Now, I still have the desire, but that is way in the back and on the bottom of that toolbox buried under everything else that I have. And I have to get that back out to get started on it. So let me explain about that. I've been in model railroading all my life. It's been in my blood since I was a little kid. And although there were times when I didn't have a model railroad to work on, there was always the dream. I always had things to look at. I always had kits. I've always had the desire to go out and do something about it. But right now, as you can see, there's nothing here. Everything is packed away. The only thing I have is a few of the latest magazines and a blank sheet of paper for a track plan. And I've been putting this off for almost two weeks now on starting a track plan in a new place. And the biggest issue is I don't know how big of a space I have and my track plans never ever work that I put down on paper. I've, I don't know how many track plans that I've put on paper that by the time that I got the layout up and started laying down track, everything was changed on it. And the final product didn't look anything like what was on paper. So that's why I hesitate to put anything on paper now. One, because it never works. And two, because I don't know how big of a space I have. Where do I start? So I know I'm going to be working with my modules. I have three modules up, you know, two of them are six foot and one of them is four foot. And so that's a starting place. And I have two pieces of my last layout, Leak and Creek and Rockwood, which basically are loops. Now they're not big loops. I mean, uh, Leakin Creek may be only like a 19 and a half inch radius and Rockwood is 21 and a half inch radius. It's not what I would really want in the new layout, but I may incorporate that somehow, maybe in a, in a trolley or, you know, a logging part where I don't need that big of a radius. So, that's what I have to work with there. I have those two pieces and the modules. That's my starting point. But as far as everything else, my mind is a blank right now. I don't know why. I, you know, I just, I, you know, I think the most that I am thinking about is finding a new place. We put a offer in on a place which had a nice two car garage. 
and the lady signed it, but she put in a little kick out clause in it that I didn't like. So we backed out of that. And I'll talk about that more in a live stream. That might be a rant for my live stream. I'm still looking hard and that is the biggest thing on my mind. So this piece of paper right here is probably going to stay blank. I might put like a, a little arc in there or something to show something. But as far as ideas, I can't come up with any ideas right now. It's really amazing. I've been at this for 60, almost 60 years. And I've always had ideas in my head, but now they just don't come. I guess my mind is, is filled with other issues right now. And the part of the model railroading is, you know, the last thing on my mind. And that's why I want to talk about, you know, model railroading without tools, because that's what I have right here. I don't have the tools to work with. I don't have any of the buildings that I could look at because they're all packed away. I don't have any of the scenery. I don't, I don't know what, I don't, I can't remember what rolling stock I have available or if they have the knuckle couplers on it or the horn hook couplers on them. I know I got a lot of a lot of rolling stock with the knuckle couplers because I bought a lot in the past year, but I have a lot that I got at train shows that still had the, the horn hook couplers on it that I need to convert. And I'll have the time later. I'll have some more money once we move into the new place. And how do I prepare for that? And that's the that's the really biggest question. That, that, you know, that boggles me right now is, you know, how much money am I going to have left over? How much will I be able to spend on the model railroad? And how much time am I going to have to work on the house before it gets into a, a livable condition? Because a lot of the places that we're looking at are older houses. The least amount of things that we can get away with is painting it. But there might be issues after that. We might need to change the windows. We might need to replace the water line going out to the street. Who knows? Because it's 50 years old. You never know. But that's things that are on my mind right now. And I can't get my head into model railroading as much as I try. I, I look at these magazines right here. And it's like they're Latin to me. Like I don't. I don't recognize it. I don't have the tools that I want. And that's, that is a big problem. I've never been in this situation before. I've bought houses before. I mean, this will be my sixth house, but I've never been in this situation where I didn't have this, uns I didn't have this uncertainty about what, was going to happen with the model railroad. So what do I do? Hopefully within the next month, we'll be in a new place. It might be a little bit over a month because we have a closing on December 14th. So shortly after that, we may be in another house and I may be able to get started on the model railroad. So in that time, I know I'm going to have some videos on there. I'm going to have a lot of videos on there about, first of all, just unpacking everything for the model railroad and starting to put back together those modules and those pieces that I tore out and all that stuff and scenery that I tore out that I was able to save. I was able to save some of it. Not a lot of it, but, you know, I could piece it together in, in the new place. So we'll see what that looks like, but it's going to be about a month to I until I have a really, really good video on what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, I'm going to tell you how I feel and maybe come up with a few other ideas along the way. So until then, we'll see you.